Hi hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Intumobile. We're uh, doing a part two of our BlackBerry Playbook apps review, uh, looking mainly at the stuff that is preloaded on the device. Uh, last time we left off was with the calculator app. Uh, we're going to check out Bing Maps. It was actually a really interesting preload because uh, it's got, normally RIM is really cozy with, uh, with Google, uh, but uh, it is nowhere to be found. Uh, uh, well, uh, Google Maps isn't anyway. Um, but uh, as you can see here, we've got full pinch to zoom. We've got uh, local searches here, driving directions. No geolocation just yet for some reason. I'm, I'm not quite sure why. There is GPS in here, I've, I've been reassured. Uh, but uh, the application menu is in full effect here. You can turn on traffic data. So you also have some handy shortcuts here for nearby restaurants. Here we go. We got a handful within my area. That's, that's up in Cornwall, but anyway, um, we've got stuff on the, other, on the other side here. We can also launch into directions. If I tell it where I'm coming from. Anyway, um, yeah, coming from here, from let's say Rito Center, return, get directions. And there we go. Um, the uh, the tablet form factor is actually in a really good position to act as a navigation device. If you get some kind of car mount, uh, it's got a nice big screen, and uh, with with GPS in there, uh, it's uh, it's hard to go wrong. Um, so I believe that also works in portrait. Maybe no, no. A lot of the apps here are uh, are landscape only. So uh, so that's Bing Maps. Uh, we've got a help application that doesn't work just yet. Uh, the weather application from AccuWeather is really, really well polished. Uh, they tend to do a lot of the preloaded weather stuff on BlackBerry products. So uh, you've got uh, each day's uh, forecasts here. Go on to fuller detail within the browser. Um, also pull in uh, data from other cities if we want. So San Francisco. Yep. There we go. So um, daily forecast we can go hourly too. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, one thing I do kind of miss from the BlackBerry application is that you can't really check what the weather is at a glance from uh, the, the the home screen here. Maybe that's something that RIM will implement later on. The native clocks application includes uh, not only the standard clock but also uh, timers, stopwatch, that kind of thing. So we can also set our alarms here for what time, uh, set ringtones, snooze, repeats when we want to have the alarms going off. Actually, maybe just change the timer here to... Uh, ba -ba -ba. No seconds, we can't set it to less than a second. So there we go. We'll see what uh, the ringtone is there in a little bit. Um, moving on, we've got Need for Speed Undercover. You've probably seen uh, some demos of this in, in RIM's official uh, demonstrations. Uh, it's a 3D racing game that comes included with the playbook. Uh, it uses the accelerometer to steer, uh, and uh, the more you race, the more cash you get, which you can spend on buying new cars or pimping out those cars with new stuff. Um, it's, a, it's a really good uh, case study for what the horsepower in the playbook is, is capable of. It has a, a dual core, one gigahertz processor, one gigabyte of RAM, and a 1024 by 600 display. So, there we go. You can also hear the sound there. The stereo speakers just on either side there are really good. I'll give you guys a, a quick race here. Oh, there goes the timer. Not, not an especially interesting sound, but... 
Uh, this uses gestures in a couple ways, namely, uh, you just swipe up for the boost, which you want to do right off the bat, get a head start. Also, if you want to pause it, you swipe down with both fingers, get back out of the game if you want. I'm all over the road, totally crazy. So there we go, yeah. That gives you an idea of how terrible of a driver I am. So we can just back out of that. So that's neat for speed under cover. If you're feeling uh, like a little something a little more subdued, there's Tetris. This is one of the few apps that actually uh, favors the portrait orientation, um, which, I mean, if you've played Tetris at all, it kind of makes sense. Uh, controls are more or less what you would expect. Uh, you just kind of uh, tap the blocks as they're falling down. Uh, in order to change their orientation uh, and then swipe downwards in order to drop it right down to the bottom. Uh, you can see the pieces coming up next over there. Swipe down and you basically just have to line them up. If you've never played Tetris before, well, now you get it. There we go. So the longer you go, the faster the blocks start coming down. So that's Tetris. Um, what else have we got here? We have voice notes. This is a simple voice recording application. Um, but again, very nice style. You, you can see there that uh, it's, it, it's a lot like the uh, calculator program where they're trying to bring in real world objects. HTC does the same kind of thing. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We got a little sound meter down there. And I think. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We got a little sound meter down there. There we go. Uh, no real options except for deleting existing voice notes. Pretty straightforward. Uh, up top, what else we got? We have Adobe Reader. So um, Adobe worked really closely with RIM in order to get Flash on here. Um, I've got uh, a couple of Blackberry or um, Dungeons and Dragons manuals on here. Uh, so nothing particularly fancy here. It's just uh, you can s swipe through page by page. There's no table of contents uh, shortcuts as uh, Adobe Reader usually has. Uh, you can't select text either, so it really is ju just for viewing documents. Um, but there are a couple of uh, more office-oriented uh, applications here. I've actually got um, Word to Go. I, I wrote up most of my review for the playbook on uh, in Word to Go. Uh, and it's it's really nice. They've got uh, all of these uh, text options, bold, italic, um, uh, centering, all that all that stuff. You can save this as uh, whatever you like and uh, send it out to your PC for fuller formatting. Um, there is also Sheet to Go. That's for spreadsheets. Uh, I don't particularly have much personal use for for spreadsheets, but uh, oh yeah, this is actually a really helpful uh, feature if uh, you close the app without saving the spreadsheet, it will try to restore it. So again, you can see the extent of my um, interest in spreadsheets, but you've got all of the, uh, all the functions along the top here. You can also uh, have multiple sheets, you can uh, set uh, cells for particular kinds of data. So pretty cool stuff overall there. Um, I haven't loaded up a PowerPoint presentation on here yet, but um, Slideshow to Go is more or less the same thing. Yeah, I don't have anything here, fortunately. And uh, last but not least, we've got Slacker Radio. Uh, I have had spotty performance with this. I mean, I've used Slacker a lot, and they are generally pretty awesome. Uh, but uh, this app has crashed on me a couple times. The layout is nice though. Uh, they, they don't really use the, uh, the uh, top-down uh, application menu at all. But uh, you can stream music uh, over the Wi-Fi or 3G if you're tethered, um, set up stations uh, and access them on the, uh, your desktop web browser, on the playbook, on your handset, wherever else. Uh, but I, I've, I've just found that uh, it, it hasn't been particularly reliable uh, in most of my usage. Uh, you can take a look here. You got uh, music controls up here and you can also use the controls up top to to pause or 
Now if you can skip. So that's Slacker. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you guys the other stuff down here for Gmail, Hotmail. Well, here, I'll, I'll launch into Gmail really quick just to show you that. It is tablet optimized, but um, it's still just a browser app, right? So, um, you can't, as far as I can tell, you can't add files. Like there's just close, discard, save, send. Uh, no additional options for attachments, which uh, strikes me as kind of important for a BlackBerry device. You know, it's they're a, an email-centric company, so it's uh, it's it's kind of lacking. Um, I can also show you the uh, the Twitter um, performance in the browser here. Um, I find it can get a little laggy if you have something open in the right pane, but uh, by, by and large, you, you can check your timeline just fine without too much too much trouble. So there we go. Uh, let's see if I can find a picture in here somewhere. Uh, here we go. So that loads up fine, but once you have that pane open, it's it's a little chunkier in responding. Uh, I've tried stuff like Hootsuite; it uh, just does not work at all. I'll, I can bust it open here for you, but it's it's not going to be pretty. Oh, never mind. I've got I've got to get all my login information there. So um, Facebook actually pulls up relatively well. Um, and so Facebook loads up pretty nicely on here. Uh, it, it has the, the added bonus of being fairly finger friendly. Uh, pinch to zoom works fine. You can click through on links, uh, no problem. So yeah, it's a uh, it's, uh, pretty good overall. I, I even begrudgingly tried out Farmville just to make sure that yes, Flash works. Uh, I, I wouldn't use anything uh, more fast paced than Farmville for example. But uh, we got full tabs here too. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, fl flash on in the browser is is certainly good enough uh, for little pop-ups like that, for example, uh, or just a streaming video. Um, so uh, we got a couple. Oh yeah, also the, there's the uh, National Film Board of Canada app, which was an interesting addition, uh, fairly patriotic, but uh, very nicely laid out. You know, you've got. Uh, full panes here and it makes use of the uh, the full screen and uh, it streams in uh, movies and stuff like that. We can just try a quick one here. Um, bup, bup, bup. This animated short focuses on Mrs. Plunger who is eager to start her own victory garden, if you say so. Let me get that out to the full screen. Alright, so, um, pretty straightforward. Uh, interesting addition for sure. I, I really haven't explored the uh, National Film Board of Canada app too much. Uh, in terms of third-party apps, this is still pre-launch, so I, I imagine the, the tidal wave of applications will, will be coming out uh, starting on the 19th, that's uh, tomorrow. Um, the stuff that I have found on here is fairly basic. There's a uh, foreplay, it's a... Uh, a third-party Foursquare check-in application. Um, I found that, well, I mean, since, since the geolocation isn't really enabled on here yet, there's not too much I can do, but even still, I found that you can see scrolling here is taking a second to register. Um, the menu at the top is a little slow to come down. But, uh, I mean, the, the layout's right there. The building blocks are, are, are good to go. Oh, it, it does have my location now. That's interesting. It's got me listed in Toronto, though, which is uh, bizarre. Anyway, um, that's that's a uh, foreplay. Uh, the CBC News app. Actually, wait, I, I, looked, at, I looked at that in part one. Uh, it was basically just their touch-optimized mobile site. Uh, WeatherEye is a, a competing a weather application that just refused to open right there. And try that again. No, see, I'm I, I'm finding there there is a little bit of instability in in uh, 
some of these apps for sure. Um, this one I just got today, it's a Reddit browser. Again, refuses to open. Maybe I've got too much stuff open. Let me try closing sheets to go, slideshow to go. Slacker radio maybe. Come on guys, show me some love here. Here we go. Normally when you're running out of, of memory, you, you get a little blinky notification at the top, so not sure, I'm not quite sure what was going on there. But uh, you got, uh, th th this this app is actually better laid out for Talos than a lot of the other ones that I've seen. Um, but again, responsiveness is, is, isn't particularly great. It's, uh, it takes a little while to scroll down here. Doesn't really follow the finger particularly well. And uh, that, that, that's not just this particular app, that's that's a pretty common thread across all developers. And to, to be fair, most of them didn't really have uh, a lot to work with in the development phase, they just had the simulator. This is a uh, popular Flash game. Um, I find it, uh, it's playable, but when, when things get a little hectic, it starts to chunk up a little bit. And uh, as, as this gets faster, you really do need to be able to react in a split second. So you can see it's starting to chunk up a little bit there. So, anyway, um, that's a sampling of some of the third-party applications that are available on the BlackBerry Playbook, uh, many of which are, are, are preloaded. But uh, be sure to check out our full review uh, for more thoughts and insights on the BlackBerry Playbook at uh, intomobile.com. Come on. You wanna, yeah, what? Yeah. What? Come on. Uh, I've, I've begrudgingly tried out Farmville just to say that yes, Flash works on here. And it, it, it lets you play uh, pretty standard games, but I wouldn't really try for anything particularly fast-paced. Um, and uh, Facebook also.